is a little how-to video on how to use your Lithionics app. There's only a single battery right here in the app. If you have multiple batteries in your vehicle, you will see multiple batteries in the app. First thing to note is that this right here is not the battery level. That is the Bluetooth signal. It's the strength of the Bluetooth signal from the battery to the app on your phone. When you want to connect with a battery, you don't have to go to your settings menu and then Bluetooth. You just go into the app, and then if you see your battery or batteries here, you just click the battery, and then it will connect to the battery and open up this screen. This is the screen that you can use to monitor your batteries and see what's going on. The percentage here is state of charge. It's a calculated estimate. Voltage is the voltage of the battery. Current is battery current. Power is battery power. When current is red or power is red, it means that you have current or power going out of the battery. If they're green, it means current or power going into the battery. Battery temperature is the temperature of the battery cells. BMS temperature is the temperature of the control board inside the battery. If these are green, they're fine. Don't worry about these temperatures unless they're not green. Time remaining is an estimate of how long the battery will last based on current battery level and the current or the power of how, how quickly you're, you're using battery energy. It's a calculated estimate and it's an estimate that is based on your current use. So if you're not using much, right now it says four days, three hours. However, if I start using a lot of power from the battery, this will go down. Think of it like distance remaining in the fuel tank in your car. If you're driving really aggressively with low miles per gallon, distance to empty is going to be short. The next thing that you see here is status code. When this is all zeros, there's no code. This is actually a hexadecimal number that has to get decoded to binary and looked up in a chart. And if you don't know what that means, all you have to do is click the status code and it will go to this screen here which if there's a code, any one of these cells will be highlighted to tell you what's going on. If you have a code and you wanna know what it means, you can click here and you can type a code that you've seen in the past and it will decode it for you and tell you what it is. So a 000060 is a battery overload with low voltage. If we did a 0010, that's reserve range. So anytime you see reserve range or low voltage as your error code, that means you need to charge. Even if you see something higher than 0% here, if it's in reserve range, you have to charge. Reserve range can be set by, by voltage or percentage. The other thing to know here in the app is this gear icon. The gear icon will let you change the battery units from metric to imperial. It will let you remember the battery, and when you remember the battery, you can assign a custom name to it, which is nice because if you're at an event and there's dozens of these batteries, you can recognize which ones are yours. You can also set a security pin. The security pin will keep other people from connecting to your battery. This is also another way to get to the status code reader. The last important thing to know here is firmware update. If you need to update your firmware, you have to make sure your Wi-Fi is on or that you're connected to cell. If you click firmware update, it will tell you you have old firmware and you can update to new. The process is quite simple. You just hit flash firmware and it's going to say, don't stop this during the middle of the process. That's bad for the batteries. So we're not going to do that. So we click continue and we're just going to wait for it to get through the whole process here. When it's done with the firmware update, it will tell you that you're all up to date and that everything is fine. If you are ever asked to do any commands in the terminal console, click there to go into the terminal console. <clears throat> Once you're in the terminal console, somebody would give you commands to enter here. So don't worry about this unless you're given specific commands where you have to go into terminal console. If Lithionics ever asks for a battery log, this is where you'll grab the logs from and you can see that the logs are taken periodically when the battery is on. And so if they ask for a log, you can send them this and they can use that to diagnose issues that may exist with your battery. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Mm -hmm.